flew over the road. He ran the heron, BT dubs. That we always used to see when we would do our bike rides in the mornings. He said, where have you been? We were like, holy crap, that's a big bird. It was like flying across here. And oh my gosh, what do you know? He was flying with the car. It was he run. And we were like, oh, we love you. It was like when a celebrity's walking around and people are like, oh my God, I love you. Can I take a selfie? <laughs> It was nice to see him. I'm glad he's still in the area. I guess he just found a different body of water yeah. to hang out in. He's but down by the train track. I'm glad he's doing well. Yeah. Here on. Thank you. Yeah. And I said, thank you. <laughs> yeah, lady. We're just, it seems like everything's going right today. I feel like the cat who swallowed the canary today. <laughs> like, I think we're just manifesting positivity today. That's so nice because we really needed it. We really needed things to go smoothly and find things that were good prices. Which we did. I can't wait to show you guys all the stuff that we got. We got such good prices. Mm -hmm. We took advantage of all the sales. The only thing that I uh, have to say about Target, first of all, customer service is excellent. Yeah, they're great. But- Why don't you have your wipers on? Get your stuff to work right, Target. Like, uh, that sweater that we got rang up as like 27, but it should have rang up 20. as 20. Yeah. And if I hadn't been paying attention, which is never the case, <laughs> but I mean some other person who doesn't watch their prices, whatever, would have been paying full price. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I just wish that the things worked, but we got such good clothes for uh, Thanksgiving Day. For and beyond. Prices. And Yeah, obviously. I'm just gonna wear it and throw it away. <laughs> and I'm going to be joining ThreadUp this week. I'm gonna um, send in some clothes uh, to trade in, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna look into buying more thrifted clothes because I think the fashion industry is a big waste. I think we could do better with that. I think we can recycle. Like when we bought your um, your Mamma Mia jeans on yeah. uh, Poshmark. Yep throw things out if they're still wearable and you know just get rid of them well those were pretty much brand new they were pretty much brand new but we couldn't find them anywhere yeah but I mean it was clutch yeah I I think we can do better as a society don't you yeah I'm trying to like um wear things that I've had for a long time but haven't really worn that much because yeah. like I forgot about them or whatever yeah like I have so many of these cute little berets I have this same exact beret in multiple colors how long did it take you to get that on your head because <laughs> there's a lot of different ways you can style a beret yeah there's a lot of different ways you can do it and it's not fun to try and do it in the car in um, the mirror that's far away and like this big yeah but this is what we're going with for now Cute. I love a beret. I love that Eisenhower jacket that you're wearing as well. Thank you. And you know who else loves it? Granny. Granny loves an Eisenhower jacket, especially on you. <laughs> well, la do you da. Yeah. Just made it back. You gonna uh, show the clothes while I show this quick? Sure. I gotta run out to the store and get our tofurkey because that's what we're having for dinner tonight. <clears throat> So we've got some mushrooms. I didn't really buy a lot because we are um, cooking. You know, we're going to Thanksgiving dinner, so don't nearly need a lot. So we got some whole cashews with sea salt. Cashews. This is, yes. Chimed, I'm sure. <laughs> some uh, fresh spinach for uh, possibly some spanakopita. Some uh, ciabattas, some walnuts for the baklava, some uh, my weakness, the uh, peanut butter filled pretzels, some palm because it's delicious and nutritious. The cat's got some uh, cat food. We got the puff pastry for the. I do mine um, my spanakopita with puff pastry because I'm lazy. I'm gonna do the uh, phyllo dough with the baklava. I don't like to do everything phyllo. Ooh, this is a hood. Right. Mom so I got this jacket. It was forty dollars, but they had twenty dollars off when you spend seventy-five, and I we see did. You wearing this a lot. Yeah, I, I'm gonna be wearing that a lot, and I love the buffalo plaid. Yes. I also found some uh, the only pair of long jeans in size ten in the store. <laughs> I like this 
squash. Yeah, I do too. They don't have long anymore. They stopped yeah. carrying it in this. I mean, they have it if you order it online. But it's hard to find it. If you want instant gratification or you need an outfit right away, they don't have it there, which is really sucky. It's very rare to find long. In got the some LA Croics, got some regular water on the cheap. The Nutter Puffs were still marked down to seven and change for the case, and some popcorn because everybody likes to take that for a snack. <laughs> I got this dress. That is adorable. Right. Adorable. So cute. I think there's a little slit in the back. No. You I'm could kidding. totally <laughs> wear that with some black, uh, wool, you know, wool type tights. Not mm -hmm. wool, but acrylic, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> pockets. It's such a little, um, I'm a kindergarten teacher. Except I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got these. Um, oh, you got the Wild Fable ones? Yeah. High nice. They were only 15 bucks. Yeah. High Rise Skinny. Nice. The thing about these, the fit is so good, but the they're a little is short. Not, they're a little bit short, but if I wear it with boots or booties or like, flats, it'll be okay. You could cuff them with flats too. Then they'll be really short. In the spring. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Then I found this dress. I saw first saw this dress months ago when I was at Target with my friend and it wasn't on sale yet. Um, and then today I just like randomly saw it on clearance and I was like, I have to get it. Yeah. I love this so that much. That is such a nice spring dress. Yeah. It was just the smallest bit large, but I think we can we're alter it. it in a little bit yeah. and it's going to be perfect. I it looks like a watercolor. I love it. Yeah. Oh, and it's Lovely. a little bit longer too. Lovely. Yeah. The last one is my favorite. Oh, I love this. I got this uh, cable knit sweater. In beautiful winter white. It's actually like a cream color. It's winter white. Okay. <laughs> it's winter white. I just love the cable knit and it's so soft. It's like a, what would you call Acrylic. This? Really? Yeah. Oh, well it's like almost like a chenille -y. No, it's, it's an acrylic. Okay. It's an acrylic cable knit. Well, it's It's, super it's soft. a soft one. I love it. Wear it with jeans. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. All right. Enjoy. Thank you. I got to run over to shop right now and get our dinner because we're having our free tofurkey tonight. And the uh, recipe for vegan is fork, which is probably up the same day as this, maybe, is uh, green bean casserole veganized. So I'm excited for that. Somebody had asked for that. So... Your wish has been granted. So I went to the supermarket, and the bad news is they were all out of tofurkey. Oh, no. Who's buying the tofurkey? At least we have a million of the garden. We're the only vegans in the village. Who's coming here and buying our tofurkey? I was so upset. I was like, I, I mean, that's a good it? sign, though, that people are eating it. Okay, but I have to come back tomorrow and, and see if they have it again. But I managed to scrounge up three of the Gardeens, so I was all prepared to have to make a seitan turkey loaf, which is like the last thing I needed today because I had so much to do. But I didn't have to! <laughs> so now we're getting ready to shoot the um, vegan green bean casserole video, which I'm very excited for. And I think it's gonna come out really good. The water is boiling really loudly over there. <laughs> but I'm excited for the Mad Rose D turkey dinner tonight. Even if the turkey dinner is <laughs> turkey cutlets. Oh, does it ever stop? Oh, it's Thanksgiving all of a sudden. Yeah. Don't trip. <laughs> So we got the green bean casserole, we have the fake turkey, we got that stuffing over there, we got mashed potatoes. Oh, I didn't get off the gravy. I was going to say, is there extra gravy? There's, there's gravy. Is that too hot? Is it going to burn me? <laughs> I hope not. Stir it. Ladle it. Ooh, that's nice and hot too. I, I hate some lukewarm gravy. It's quite hot. Wow. Just no cranberry and no sweets. Oh. I just couldn't. It's okay. You've done a wonderful job. Thank you. Wow. Mm. You guys are interested in this green bean casserole. We just made a veganist pork video. Yeah. <laughs> I hope Maybe you check it out. Um, 
maybe. <laughs> no harm in reminding everyone, right? Right. All right, get to it. All right. Demolish that. Time for the Dancing with the Stars finale. All right, put a tear in that. Okay. <laughs> well, I love string beans. Me too. What are you cooking up in here? Maddie's always complaining. It's too much. It's too much, and it's like 11 o'clock. All right, get a grip. <sighs> okay, so we just watched the Dancing with the Stars finale. Oh my god, there were so many great performances. Okay, yeah. Milo and Whitney's freestyle yeah. was one of my favorites of all time. Ivana and Kyo's freestyle loved. I thought Alexis and Alan, amazing. And I thought Bobby and Sharna were really fun, but did I think he should have won? No! <laughs> I mean, he seems like a really wonderful person. But so does everybody else. But like... As far as dancing goes, yeah, that's, I mean, what do you expect with these kinds of shows, you know? Mother doesn't like it. You knew things were going to get crazy when Juan Pablo went home last week, so that should have been a big indicator there. <laughs> well, anyway, it was still a really fun season to watch. A lot of great performances. Yeah. Looks like you're crying. Am I? Yeah. Do, oh, because I splashed one. Oh. <laughs> you have like a teardrop on your face. <laughs> no. I'm not crying for Bobby Bones. Well, congrats to him and Sharna. <laughs> Again, though. I blame country music. Okay, anyway, <laughs> when in doubt, blame country music. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Let us know what you thought of the finale in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. You're awesome. Yeah, it was a fun day. I had some fun. We had a good day. Till next time. Much love.